Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the secret Wimshire walkthrough and guide how to access this level. Uh, the ghost, <laughs> the ghost of the cow king. I just want to let you know it takes a lot of work to, in order to get the staff in order to access the secret level. It took me about nine hours, and it's a lot of rare spawn. It has a lot to do with luck. So if you have a lot of patience and have high tolerance of depression, then feel free to watch this video for a guide how to do it. Uh, Feel free to subscribe if you would like more walkthroughs. I do game commentaries and let's play for a living. So feel free to subscribe and check me out. Uh, in three days, I'm giving away a free collector's edition and many other Blizzard games. It's May 22nd right now, so around May 25th. Uh, if it passes this date, then uh, I'm not giving away anymore. That's mean the items are give away. All right, stay tuned and watch how to get these items. Take care, everyone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go F4, part 4, into the Great Span and kill the Fallen Angel with Zul. What he does is he drops the blacksmith plant you need in order to create the staff to go to the secret level. Note that this is a rare item and it may take you a while to get it. This is my 15th attempt. Oh, I got it! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, cool. Alright, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you get your recipe, go to your blacksmith or your artesian our artisan and then train it to him. There you go, you get <laughs> you get an achievement. And I'll sh and you go here to forge weapons and it will be staff of herding. There you go. So you need to collect all these items. The word spell can be found in act 2 in the town uh, and it costs 100,000 gold. So I'm going to need a little bit to get there, but I'll show you when I have that much. And you're going to need a black mushroom which is found in act 1 the liquid rainbow, the jimbering gemstone, and lyric shinbone. I'll show you when I in get there. In Act 1, what you want to find is the black mushrooms. I'll show you what it looks like on the ground after you find it. So there's the black mushroom. It's in Cathedral 1, Level 1, Act 1, and let note that this is a rare spawn, so you may have to do it a uh, couple of times. This is my 14th try. You, it's during the, my the objective of Legacy of Cain when you try and find Cain. So, Act 1, Part 2. Alright, I'll show you the next part that you need to find in Act 1. For the Shinbone, it, you need to go to Leoric's Manor, which is can be found in this waypoint, Leoric's Manor location. Uh, don't worry, it takes a couple of times, so what you have to do is fight your way back, and hopefully it spawns in the fireplace. I'll show you when I get there, and when I find okay. one. For Leoric's Shin, Shin is you want to be in Leoric's Manor, and if there's burnt log in the fireplace, you got it. Lucky you. It takes a couple of while. I'll show you a exact more detail uh, where you can find it. So what I did is you see up here. I went from the Lair Commander's waypoint and I worked all the way my bat my way back to this fire room. It's always going to be located in the same place. In Act Two, you want to go to the Cadia Bazaar, which is the big town, and you want to go to the Squirt, the Peddler Merchant, and you need to buy in the Words Bell and the Miscellaneous. It costs a hundred thousand gold, so be sure you have enough gold for it. The whole event requires 150,000 gold. Keep that in mind. In Act 2, what you need to do is get the Liquid Rainbow. So to, in order to do that, you need to get to the waypoint path of the Oasis. And if, if you're playing through the story, it's the Betrayal Horadrum. And the place you need to go is the bottom of the map. It's always located at the bottom, so there's no need for you to keep searching. And if you're lucky, you will run into this merchant that would need your aid. It's not a guaranteed uh, spawn that he will always be here and when he will open up this door which will lead you into a mysterious cave. And inside this cave you may have a chance to get the mysterious chest which will contain a liquid rainbow is what you need for the staff. So this is a rare spawn including inside this rare cave you need a to get the rare mystery chest so you need to be extremely lucky in order to find the liquid rainbow. Alright ladies and gentlemen after my 30th attempt I was able to find it so it's in the mysterious cave level one and then there you go liquid rainbow so the next item you're gonna need is act three and I'll show you when I get there let me show you what it looks like <laughs> a bottle of liquid rainbow there the we last go. item you need on the list is the jibbering gemstone that's located in act three the fastest way to get there is the bridge of Corsic waypoint and the way to get it is you have to go into the fields of slaughters. Now, there's two caves that may spawn, and there's only one cave that you really need in order to get it. If you somehow find the cave that says Ice Falls, then you would have to reload the game and try.
try again and wish your luck from there. The correct cave is called the Frost Caverns, I believe. I'll show you when I get there. And the inside, you have to kill a rare spawn in level 2. Uh, the spawn, the mob does not always spawn, so you may have to keep reloading until you get the right mob. This is the correct cave you would want. It is called the Cavern of Frost, and you have to go to level 2 and kill the rare mob named Chotera. Okay, so after running this about 47 times, <laughs> it's a very rare spawn. So the mob you want is Chotera, and it will drop the final item that you need, the Germary Stones. Just note that, um, it may take you a while. It, I leveled about six times before I, uh, I finally found the rare spawn. Just note that Chilterra may even be inside the cave, even though you may not see it as a rare spawn. So I heard that it's possible that she will spawn even after you kill this unique mob down here. For for this case, I happen to have them both uh, spawn before. Uh, uh, I had to kill one before the other. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you clear the cave. Now that we have all the five items, now we go to our blacksmith and then we can craft the wand, the staff of herding. So go ahead and craft that. There we go. <laughs> Make sure you don't sell the staff. It's white, so it's easily mistaken. So I'm going to have to store that in a safe place. Okay, so that staff is good enough just for normal mode of the secret level. In order to get the next level, which is Nightmare, uh, you have to go to Act 4 and kill Izul, uh, which is Part 4, Quest 2. And then, but when after you kill him, don't kill Diablo just yet. Go back to town, talk to this merchant. I'll show you on the map. It's right next to the healer and your, mer and your uh, mercenaries. And I don't have it here just yet. Uh, since I haven't killed him in Act 4, but it will, he will sell it for one gold here. For the plans, and then you go to your blacksmith, and then you, um, one second, you want, you teach him the plans, and then he will have the staff hurting, says Nightmare there. All you need is the original staff, and you need the, appro uh, uh, the approximate gold, or the appropriate amount of gold. For Nightmare, you need 200,000, Hell, you need 500,000, and Inferno, you need 1 million difficulties. The good part is you don't have to farm all 5 of the items again. You just need the previous staff and, the <laughs> and be rich with a lot of gold. Um, before you can access the next difficulty, uh, what, for example, for me, for me to get uh, into a Nightmare difficulty, I would have to kill Diablo in Nightmare and start a whole new game in Hell and get to uh, the correct place in part in Act 1, Part 1. So the next part I'm going to show you how to get to the secret level. <laughs> 